Hi, and welcome back to We Are Reading Virtual Story Time for the week of January 11th, 2021. January 11th is National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friend Day. In honor of this, we're going to read Mud Puddle by Robert Munch and make a yarn painted puddle scene. Enjoy the story and craft. Mud Puddle by Robert Munch, illustrated by Dusan Petrasik. Julian's mother bought her clean new clothes. Julian put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she walked outside and sat down under the apple tree. Unfortunately, hiding up in the apple tree, there was a mud puddle. It saw Julian sitting there and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her ears were full of mud. Julian ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub of water. She scrubbed Julian till she was red all over. She washed out her ears. She washed out her eyes. She even washed out her mouth. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she looked out the back door. She couldn't see a mud puddle anywhere, so she walked outside and sat down in her sandbox. The sandbox was next to the house, and hiding up on top of the house, there was a mud puddle. It saw Julianne sitting down there, and it jumped right on her head. She got completely all over muddy. Even her nose was full of mud. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me. Julianne's mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her in a tub of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears, she washed out her eyes, she washed out her mouth, and she even washed out her nose. Julian put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. Then she put on clean new pants and buttoned them up the front. Then she had an idea. She reached way back into the closet and got a big yellow raincoat. She put it on and walked outside. There was no mud puddle anywhere, so she yelled, Hey, mud puddle! Nothing happened, so she yelled even louder, Hey, mud puddle! Julian was standing in the sunshine in her raincoat, getting very hot. She pulled back her hood. Nothing happened. She took off her raincoat. As soon as she took off her coat, out from behind the doghouse, there came the mud puddle. It ran across the grass and jumped right on Julianne's head. She got completely all over muddy. Julianne ran inside yelling, Mommy, Mommy, a mud puddle jumped on me! Her mother picked her up, took off all her clothes, and dropped her into a tub full of water. She scrubbed Julianne till she was red all over. She washed out her ears, she washed out her eyes, she washed out her mouth, she washed out her nose, she even washed out her belly button. Julianne put on a clean new shirt and buttoned it up the front. She put on clean new pants and she buttoned them up the front. Then she sat by the back door because she was afraid to go outside. Then she had an idea. She reached up to the sink and took a bar of smelly yellow soap. She gave it a smell. Yuck! Then she took another bar of smelly yellow soap and gave it a smell. Yuck! She put the smelly yellow soap in her pockets. Then she ran out into the middle of the backyard and yelled, Hey, mud puddle! The mud puddle jumped over the fence and ran right toward her. Julianne threw a bar of soap right into the mud puddle's middle. The mud puddle stopped. Julianne threw the other bar of soap right into the mud puddle. The mud puddle said, Ugh! Yuck! Ugh! It ran across the grass, jumped over the fence, and it never came back.
the end. Okay, so today we're gonna make our own little puddle scene. Um, I have here the template that I made. Um, just got clip art of boots, a puddle, a jacket, and, a, and an umbrella. Um, he'll need scissors. Cut it out. And this is what it looks like when it's all cut out. You're gonna need something to color this with. Um, I initially wanted to use watercolors, but I don't know. I just was afraid I'd really make a mess. So I'm just gonna use some markers and I already chose my colors. Um, so we're gonna color that. You'll need a glue stick because once you're done with that, you're gonna glue it to a background. I chose gray because it's gonna be a muddy, rainy day. Then you'll need paints. I have blue for raindrops and brown for mud and a little plate to put them on. And then you're gonna need something to paint with. So I have this little Q-tip just for the raindrops. I'm just gonna put dots on it. And then I was gonna color with string, paint with string. I made this little thing. Um, instead of just painting with one string, I have a few and I'm just gonna kind of splash it on there like she's been jumping in the puddles or he can't really tell who's in there. So the first step of course is to color it and then attach it to the paper. Um, you might wanna attach it to the paper after you paint, but I figured since this whole thing is part of the scene, I'm gonna get this all muddy and rainy too. So here we go, we're gonna color. So I'm just going to glue my puddle person with my glue stick. I probably put way too much glue on here, but at least it's not going to pop off, right? <laughs> okay, so I did add a little bit of brown to the water because I want to make it muddy like our mud puddle story. Um, plus, it's a lot more fun to jump in mud puddles than just plain puddles, right? Maybe not if you don't like mess. I know a lot of kids don't like mess. Okay, so I'm going to stick that right in the middle somehow. It's not perfect, but hey. Oops, glue. Alright, see how that comes right off? Okay, so now we're going to paint. And I already went ahead and put the brown and the blue on there. First thing I want to do is the raindrops. I'm just going to dip it and just get a little raindrops. Just kind of randomly put a few on there. I don't want too many on the jacket because supposedly their umbrella is protecting her or him. Could be either. Oopsie. And I put that one under there. We'll just pretend she just moved and that's why it's there. Okay. So we got our raindrops. We got our puddle. Now we're gonna make our mud. And for that, we're gonna use the yarn. And like I said, you can use just one piece of yarn and just kind of drag it or whatever. But I thought it'd be more fun to do kind of, um, a bunch of it and I'm just kind of gently dragging it through there and we're just going to kind of splash it on make a few lines here and there see how muddy it's getting it's funny you get to just slap it slap it slap it um actually need more paint I usually put too much on we're gonna make it nice and slappy and just remember the longer or the more paint you put on, the more it has to dry. Of course, you're gonna get some up on the jacket. But yeah, I mean, if you had only one string, you would have a lot more um, definition, but since one is mud clean, one doesn't have definition. Got a little up there too and that's it got my muddy puddle looks like she jumped all up in it 
well, that's all the time we have for We Are Reading Virtual Storytime. We hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.